Suppose the thermodynamic process happens infinitesimally slowly in infinite step. That is, in each step, the driving force is slightly greater, that is, infinitesimally greater than the opposing force, then the system will always remain in equilibrium. Then that system is called reversible process. Let me write it, okay? For reversible process, if the, if the thermodynamic process, if the thermodynamic process happens, happens or takes place infinitesimally slowly slowly then then it then it will be it will be in thermodynamic equilibrium thermodynamic equilibrium this condition or this process is called is called as reversible process reversible process reversible process the driving force the driving force is infinitesimally greater than greater than opposing force opposing force that is the driving force will be slightly greater than the opposing force then that type of system will be in thermodynamic equilibrium all the time and that is called re reversible process but irreverse irreversible process means sudden change okay if the system is if the thermodynamic process is happening suddenly then obviously that will not be in thermodynamic equilibrium and that type of process is called irreversible process so if if the thermodynamic process if the thermodynamic process takes place takes place rapidly takes place rapidly then then it is called irreversible process irreversible process irreversible process got confused let me explain this with a simple diagram suppose there is a cylinder in which there is gas and this is a weightless and frictionless piston. Obviously, this does not exist in real life. But still, let's consider this is the weightless and frictionless piston. Okay. Now, over it, let's drop one, uh, only one sand. One sand. We drop it. What will happen? The piston might go little bit inside. And it happens so slow that the thermodynamic equilibrium will be managed over there will still be over there let's drop another sand the same thing will happen because the driving force is way slightly greater than the opposing force in that same way in infinite process we drop infinite number of sand particles so what will happen in each step it will be in thermodynamic equilibrium because it is happening slowly we are doing we are putting sand one by one so it will keep on going and in every step it will maintain the equilibrium and that process will be in that process is reversible process but on the other hand let's just put 2 kg of sand over it at the same time just drop it what will happen the piston will suddenly go down that process happens so fast and this type of process cannot maintain the thermodynamic equilibrium inside and in that process. So, this type of process is called irreversible process. Okay, they won't be reversible. Now, every, sorry, everything that is happening in the nature, they are all irreversible process. Okay, reversible process is imaginary because that takes 
uh, in finite number of times and that is obviously not possible and it needs weightless and frictionless piston type okay so that is not possible everything that is happening around us every thermodynamic process every natural process is an irreversible process okay so i hope you understood about reversible and irreversible process as well